Want to speak real Portuguese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at portuguesepod101.com. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. 
There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step -step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Oi, gente, tudo bom? Paloma here. Welcome to Top 15 Questions You Should Know. De onde você é? Where are you from? So when you arrive in Brazil, the first person you see is going to ask you, De onde você é? Where are you from? So you can answer it by saying, Eu sou de or eu sou dos, or eu sou da. If you're from Mexico, you can say, eu sou do México. You just need to be careful with the G preposition in Portuguese, because we also use a article together with it. So it can be de, or dos, or da, or das, okay? O que foi que você falou? What did you say? So if someone is talking to you, you're not really listening to him, you can just say, o que foi que você falou? What did you say? Eu não falei nada. I didn't say anything. Eu falei que eu te amo. I told you I love you. Pay attention to what people are saying. <laughs> Onde fica o banheiro? Where's the bathroom? Every restaurant has to have a bathroom in Brazil, so you can just ask him, Onde fica o banheiro? But you can also use the sentence if you're visiting someone and you need to use the restroom, it's okay. Onde fica o banheiro? Fica ali no fundo do corredor. It's at the end of the corridor. Onde você mora? Where do you live? You're going to use this sentence a lot and people are going to ask you too. They can say, de onde você é? Where are you from? But they can also say, onde você mora? Meaning, where do you live? Eu moro em São Paulo. I live in São Paulo. Eu moro no México. I live in Mexico. Onde você trabalha? Where do you work? Brazilians are very curious and they might ask you a lot of questions. One of them might be, onde você trabalha? Where do you work? Eu trabalho na Paulista. I work at Paulista Avenue, which is a very famous avenue in São Paulo. Eu trabalho na Petrobras. I work at Petrobras, a very famous Brazilian company. Qual é o seu nome? What's your name? This is the first question they're gonna ask you. Meu nome é? My name is? Or you can just say your name. Paloma. Qual é o seu número de telefone? What's your phone number? They might say, qual é o seu número de telefone? Or... Qual é o seu telefone? What is your phone? But meaning phone number. O meu telefone é 947777767. Brazilian cell phones always start with a 9 at the beginning. Quantos anos você tem? How old are you? When people ask you how old you are, you can say, eu tenho 20 anos. I am 20 years old. O que que é isso? What's this? In Portuguese, we use a lot of que in sentences. For example, here, it's very common to repeat the que. O que que é isso? What's this? É um telefone. It's a phone. É uma câmera. It's a camera. Tudo bem? How are you? You can answer tudo bem question with the same. Tudo bem. I'm fine. Or, não muito bem. Not very well. Faz quanto tempo que você está estudando português? How long have you been studying Portuguese? If you're speaking a lot of Portuguese, for sure people are going to ask you, faz quanto tempo que você estuda português? How long have you been studying Portuguese? Faz só um mês. Only a month. Or, já fazem cinco anos. It's already five years. Wow, seu português é perfeito. Wow, your Portuguese is perfect. Onde você aprendeu português? Where did you learn Portuguese? Eu aprendi na escola. I learned at school. Eu aprendi com os meus pais. I learned with my parents. Eu aprendi assistindo filmes. I learned watching movies. Quando é o seu aniversário? 
when is your birthday? We really like to celebrate birthdays in Brazil. Some people may ask you, quando é seu aniversário? When is your birthday? É dia 15 de outubro. It's on October 15th. Você gosta de comida brasileira? Do you like Brazilian food? Brazilians are very meaty people. They really like meat. So most of the dishes have a lot of meat on it. If you like meat, you can say sim, e principalmente a feijoada. Yes, especially feijoada. Or não muito, eu prefiro comida japonesa. Not that much. I prefer Japanese food. Você já foi para o Brasil? Have you ever been to Brazil? If you can speak Portuguese, my people may ask you, você já foi para o Brasil? Have you been to Brazil? You can say, já umas cinco vezes. Yes, maybe five times. Or, não, eu nunca fui. No, I've never been. The end. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in our next video. Tchau, tchau. I don't know how to say that. Oi, gente. Hi, everyone. Paloma here. E aí, tudo bom? Yay, how are you? Welcome to top 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Além do português, eu também sei outras línguas. Apart from Portuguese, I can speak other languages as well. If you say this phrase in Brazil, people will be so jealous at you because many Brazilians can't even speak English. So if you just say, eu posso falar outras línguas também, I can speak other languages as well. They will be like, okay, he's a genius. Ele é um gênio. Além do português, eu também falo inglês, francês e espanhol. Apart from Portuguese, I can also speak English, French and Spanish. Especially for people that can speak Portuguese, Spanish, even French and Italian are very easy. Not very easy, but easier to learn. Estou aprendendo português sozinho. I'm learning Portuguese by myself. I think it's a pretty amazing sentence to say because people usually go to language schools in Brazil to learn English and Spanish usually. But if you just say, you know, I'm learning that by myself, they will be like, wow. No, eu não vou para escola. Eu estou aprendendo português sozinho. No, I don't go to school. I'm learning Portuguese by myself. Estou estudando português faz 10 anos. I've been learning Portuguese for 10 years. That's a pretty long, hard-working path, right? Eu sei português porque eu estou aprendendo português faz 10 anos. I know Portuguese because I've been learning Portuguese for 10 years. Eu entendi tudinho que você disse. I completely understood everything you said. Using diminutives in Portuguese sentence shows that you can, you know, play with the language. So it seems like you're fluent in the language. If you say tudinho, that means small everything. <laughs> Sounds like very Portuguese, very Brazilian. Não precisa repetir. Eu entendi tudinho que você me disse. You don't need to repeat. I completely understood what you said. Eu consigo assistir filmes em português sem legendas. I can watch movies in Portuguese without subtitles. Famous Brazilian movies you should watch are City of God, Cidade de Deus, or Tropa de Elite, The Elite Squad, which are all-time famous movies in here. Não precisa se preocupar. Eu consigo assistir filmes em português sem legenda. You don't need to worry. I can watch movies in Portuguese without subtitles. Levou apenas um ano para me tornar fluente. It took me only one year to become fluent. I think if you're a native Spanish speaker, you might say Levou apenas um ano. But if you're English speaker, it might take a little longer if you don't dedicate, you know, all your time to learn Portuguese. If someone tells you, Wow, seu português é ótimo. Wow, your Portuguese is great. You can answer, Não, não é nada. Levou apenas um ano para me tornar fluente. No, it's nothing. It took me only one year to become fluent. Obrigada, mas na verdade eu não sou brasileira. Thank you, but I'm not Brazilian actually. Yeah, I think that's the most amazing phrase you want to hear. Nossa, eu achei que você fosse brasileira. Wow, I thought you were Brazilian. Obrigada, mas na verdade eu não sou brasileira. Thank you, but actually I'm not Brazilian. Português é divertido e fácil de aprender. Portuguese is fun and easy to learn. If you tell this phrase to your friends, I think they'll be amazed because we know Portuguese is not that easy and you just say Não, não é difícil. Português é divertido e fácil de aprender. No, it's not hard. Portuguese is fun and easy to learn. Posso memorizar umas 50 palavras novas por dia em português. I can memorize around 50 new Portuguese words a day. Um, yeah, that's pretty amazing.
Usually people can memorize 10 to 20 words a day, but if you say you can memorize 50, they'll be like, wow. Another word for memorize would be decorar, to know by heart. Você pode me ensinar mais. Eu posso decorar umas 50 palavras por dia em português. You can teach me more. I can memorize around 50 new words a day in Portuguese. Vou falar português como um falante nativo em 3 anos. I'll speak Portuguese like a native speaker in 3 years. That's a bold challenge, but if you're up to it, I think that's totally doable to learn and to be fluent in a language in 3 years. Eu vou estudar muito e vou falar português como um nativo em 3 anos. I'll study a lot and I'll speak Portuguese as a native speaker in 3 years. The end! Acabou! That's it for today! Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy our video and subscribe to our website and our channel. See you next time! Ciao! Portuguese. You can speak other languages as well. Portuguese, Japanese, Chinese. No, Chinese. Ni hao! Vou dar Paulo ma! Want to speak real Portuguese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at portuguesepod101.com. Bom dia, gente. Tudo bom? Paloma here. Welcome to Talk Portuguese Words. Today's topic is Top 10 compliments you always want to hear. Number one. Você é muito bonita. You are very beautiful. You could also say to a man that would be Você é muito bonito. You are very handsome. Especially for girls when you wake up and put makeup, it's so good if someone tells you Você é muito bonita Or it could be Você está muito bonita hoje You look very beautiful today Que inteligente que você é How smart you are Maybe your Brazilian friends will tell you Que inteligente que você é Because you're learning Portuguese and it's not very easy But if someone tells you with a different intonation, for example Que inteligente que você é it means like, are you dumb? Like, you're not very smart. So, please take care how you use this phrase, okay? Você é uma super amiga. You're an awesome friend. You can also say, você é um super amigo for your boyfriend, like a man friend. But for girls, it's amiga. Você é uma super amiga. Eu te adoro. I love you. I adore you. É impressão minha ou você tá mais magra? Is it me or are you thinner? Especially if you're working out and making a lot of exercises, malhando, yeah, going to the gym, indo na academia, it's so good if someone tells you É impressão minha ou você tá mais magra? Is it me or are you thinner? O seu currículo é impressionante. Your resume is impressive. So if you go to a job interview or entrevista de trabalho, the interviewer or entrevistador might tell you Wow, você fala português. Wow, you speak Portuguese. O seu currículo é impressionante. Your resume is impressive. Bom trabalho. Great job. You probably hear this sentence at your workplace. For example, if you work very hard and your boss comes to you and tells you Bom trabalho. Great job. Você tem bom gosto. You have good taste. I really like when, for example, a cousin of mine asks me to help her choosing a dress or making her hair because they tell me Você tem bom gosto. You have good taste. Oh, it's so good. Obrigada. O seu sorriso é lindo. Your smile is beautiful. Maybe when you were a kid you used to use brackets or aparelhos, but when you grow up at least you have a nice smile, right? O seu sorriso é lindo. Your smile is beautiful. Você está maravilhosa. You look gorgeous. You're waiting for your date. And then he knocks on your door. You open it and he looks at you and says, Você está maravilhosa. You look gorgeous. It can also be said by friends, especially girlfriends. Amiga, você está maravilhosa. Girl, you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. Olha que coisa mais linda, mais cheia de graça É ela, menina, que vem e que passa Nossa, amiga! Você canta muito bem! Wow, my friend! You sing very well! Fim, the end! Did we miss anything? Any compliment? Let us know in the comments! Also, don't forget to subscribe to PortuguesePop101.com See you next time! Até mais! Tchau, tchau! E aí, galera, beleza? Paloma here. 
Welcome to another Talk Portuguese Words. Today's topic is 20 travel phrases you should know. Travel, viajar. Você pode me ver um mapa? Could you get me a map? Você pode me ver um mapa? Could you get me a map? Well, nowadays everyone has cell phone and we have maps on it, so it's not that useful anymore. But sometimes in some smaller cities it's very useful to have a map. So just remember the word mapa. It's not the hard, right? Você fala inglês? Do you speak English? Você fala inglês? Do you speak English? Well, this is kind of a survival phrase, especially if you don't speak Portuguese very well. You should know that one. So you can, you know, just approach everyone and just ask them, Você fala inglês? Você fala inglês? Well, if you speak another language, you can also ask, just change English for that language, right? Você fala inglês? Você fala francês? Você fala japonês? And hopefully someone will speak the language you need. Tem algum ônibus que vai do aeroporto até a cidade? Is there a bus from the airport to the city? Tem algum ônibus que vai do aeroporto até a cidade? Is there a bus from the airport to the city? In most airports, there will probably be a bus that goes from the airport to the city. So just ask information or um guardinha, like a security guard. Yeah, we love to ask the guardinhas. Moço, excuse me, sir. Moço, com licença. Wi-Fi é gratuito? Is the Wi-Fi free? O Wi-Fi é gratuito? Is the Wi-Fi free? You can also say o Wi-Fi é grátis? In most restaurants, hotels, and everywhere you go, they will have a Wi-Fi. So sometimes the Wi-Fi is free, but they still have a password. So you can ask, qual é a senha do Wi-Fi? What is the Wi-Fi password? Você tem um quarto vago para hoje? Do you have any vacancies tonight? Você tem um quarto vago para hoje? Do you have any vacancies tonight? I prefer to book for a room before going to the city, but many people prefer to just go to the place they want to go and there they find the hotel. Well, if you do that, then you have to ask, tem algum quarto para hoje à noite? Or tem algum quarto vago para hoje à noite? Eu poderia me mudar para outro quarto? Could I move to a different room? Eu poderia me mudar para outro quarto? Could I move to a different room? Well, there are many reasons why you want to change your room. Maybe it's too noisy, barulhento, or something is broken, quebrado. So you can just go complain, this is broken, or it's too noisy. Posso me mudar para outro quarto? Eu tenho uma reserva. I have a reservation. Eu tenho uma reserva. I have a reservation. Well, you can use this at hotels or restaurants. If you want to be more specific, you can say Eu tenho uma reserva no nome de... I have a reservation under the name of... Eu tenho uma reserva no nome de Paloma. Você pode trazer o cardápio, por favor? Could you bring the menu, please? Você pode trazer o cardápio, por favor? Could you bring the menu, please? Okay, this is very useful because... Many countries, they also use the word menu, similar to the English, but in Brazil, we mostly use the word cardápio. So don't forget it. If you say menu, they probably understand, but it's much more common to say cardápio. Você tem alguma sugestão? Do you have any recommendations? Você tem alguma sugestão? Do you have any recommendations? So you can ask that to the waiter, the waitress, or maybe the tour guide. You can also say like, I like meat. Do you have any recommendations? Eu gosto de carne. Você tem alguma sugestão? Você pode trazer a conta? Could I have the check? Você pode trazer a conta? Can I have the check? So, você pode trazer a conta literally means, can you bring me the bill? But, well, in English, it's more common to say, can I have the check, maybe? You can also say just, a conta, por favor, the check, please. Eu sou alérgico a amendoim. I'm allergic to peanuts. Eu sou alérgico a amendoim. I'm allergic to peanuts. I'm so lucky I'm not allergic to anything, so I can just order whatever I want. Maybe I won't like it, but at least it won't be bad for me.
If you're allergic to something, make sure to know that word in Portuguese. If you don't know that word, you can just post in the comments below and we'll make sure to answer you. Uma água, por favor. Water, please. Uma água, por favor. Water, please. Usually when you order water in Brazil, they come in bottles, they don't come in glasses. And they are usually água mineral, not água com gas, which would be sparkling water. So if you just want normal, natural water, you can just say água mineral. Quanto custa este daqui? How much is this? Quanto custa este daqui? How much is this? So if you're in store looking at things, you can just say, Oh, I like that one. Quanto custa este daqui? How much is this? Eu quero 10 desses. I'd like 10 of this. Eu quero 10 desses. I'd like 10 of this. So if you went to the store and you asked, Quanto custa este daqui? And you liked it? You can just say, Eu vou levar 10 desses. I'm gonna take 10 of this. Eu quero este daqui. I'd like this one. Eu quero este daqui. I'd like this one. If you want to be very specific, you can say Eu quero este daqui. I'd like this one. If you want that one, you would say Eu quero aquele dali. Tem desconto? Is there a discount? Tem desconto? Is there a discount? So it's very common to ask for discounts in Brazil. Uh, you can also say, tem desconto no dinheiro? Is there a discount in cash? Especially if you're buying a lot of merchandise, you can ask that. Of course, you're not gonna ask in a supermarket or a chain store, but if it's like a local business, it's more common to give a discount. Maybe in touristic areas, not that common, but well, you should try, right? As we say in Brazil, não custa nada. Doesn't cost anything. At the most, your answer is gonna be no, no, não tem desconto. Vocês aceitam cartão de crédito? Do you take credit card? Vocês aceitam cartão de crédito? Do you take credit card? Nowadays, you can pay by credit card everywhere. Uh, it's very, very hard to find a place that doesn't accept credit card. Like, it's crazy, even if you go, for example, to the beach, there's like the guy selling earrings and he's gonna have his credit card machine so you can pay with credit card, I'm not kidding, yeah. Onde fica a rodoviária? Where's the bus terminal? Onde fica a rodoviária? Where's the bus terminal? You can say rodoviária or terminal rodoviário, but it's much more common just to say rodoviária. Quanto é a passagem? What's the fare? Quanto é a passagem? What's the fare? You can use the question at the rodoviária, the bus terminal, for example, for a long-distance bus, but you can also use it for a local bus. For example, if you don't see the price that is usually in the front of the bus, you can just ask the driver, motorista, or cobrador, você poderia parar em... Or, você poderia me avisar? But first, you have to ask. Quanto é a passagem? Quanto é a tarifa? Você pode tirar uma foto de mim, por favor? Could you take a picture of me, please? Você pode tirar uma foto de mim, por favor? Can you take a picture of me, please? Most people nowadays don't leave their home without their selfie stick, which in Portuguese is pau de selfie. Um, but if you don't have your pau de selfie, you can just ask someone. Você pode tirar uma foto de mim, por favor? Or, você pode tirar uma foto de nós, por favor? Can you take our picture, please? Yeah, I'm talking with my ghost friend here. The end! That's all for today. Thanks a lot for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know which other words or sentences you need to know before traveling to Brazil. See you next time. Ciao, ciao! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.